Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. Mr. Mike is joining me here on Big Salmon Peak. We're going to put the Ford and the A's off to the test as we rescue a truck. So I think, let me give me a second here. I'm going to stop for a second, Mr. Micah, so get ready to stop. I think we need to go to the left, if I'm not correct. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. And then um, oh, there's it's a down. It's down in the middle where you get the mission. Oh, yeah. Left. Yep. Okay, so yep. we're going to go left. We're going to follow the road and then into the mud and then to yeah. wrong turn. This, could be, this should be fun. That'll be a blast. I may drag this trailer with us to the edge of the water and then leave it. Because I don't think I'll okay. get through that with this on it, but it'll be close to where we are, so if we need to repair, I can... Will I be able to hitch to it or no? Um, I don't know. That bed has a hitch, but I don't know if it if it works or not. It all depends on the developer. I haven't messed around with that truck much. Uh, it is very. All I know oh, is it's the gas hog. Yeah, but it's also uber powerful. Yeah. It's a good truck. We might make it through the water. That wasn't too bad. Oh. And I can always uh, push a little bit in the back. Shove it. Take my truck and shove it. I'll tell you what, this Yukon map has been a nightmare. Has it? Uh, once, once I got the right, like, I, oh, man, are you kidding this thing got stuck yeah, under my wheel and borked my truck. <sighs> Stupid thing. Um, yeah, until I got the right trucks. Like, honestly, I would do the whole Big Sam and Peak if I, when I do it over again. Like, when we do hardcore mode, we're using Russian trucks here. Because I don't think there's even, except for the 770G, there's not really even any trucks on the map. So this one we're going to have to bring trucks. So I'm going to bring American trucks. If you have the power to just sprint around me and drag me through, I don't mind. <laughs> Let me tell you now. You could just blast me away. Uh, you're not getting much more speed than I am, are you? But I'm trying to be careful and not use up all my fuel. I got plenty. I got 500 gallons on board. We're good. All right, hammer time. Do, 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 do. <laughs> hmm. Not impressive. I can't even tell which way my wheels are turning. There we go. This is a tough area right here, this whole. All right, there we go. Boop. Kelgon, take me away. Are you in low gear? Yeah, low high. Okay, so am I. I wish the other truck that I had got, the Kolob, I wish that got a flatbed on the back. Because the Azov's good, but the Kolob is better, especially for these kind of conditions. The Kolob just soars right through this stuff. But we're doing okay. Yeah. You should have seen the last rescue mission I did. When you watch YouTube, Micah, I would watch it because it was pretty incredible, like, what we had to do to get the truck out. It was a 
pain in the butt. Now here I'm okay. Eh, maybe not. Okay, there's the trigger, so park, stop here for a sec. Let's get it out of the way. Okay. All right. I need your help, friend. My cousin went for a drive in the mountains at night. His truck broke down right at the peak. Now we're thinking how to get him out of there. Will you help us? No, jerk, you idiot. You shouldn't have driven up. Dumb bunny. Okay, so we have to pull it out. So that means I'm going to refuel you. Oh, but it says it's got a repair thing. Oh, we do have to repair it. I thought it said we had to bring it back, so we have to do both. What I'm thinking, yeah. Mr. Micah... I think you got to pull it down, and I'll weigh at the bottom of the hill. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like I'll drag it down, and then you, then you can, we can load it on. But I, but I think the far side looks easier. I don't know. Do you wanna? Uh, no, they're both a pain. I've been up there before. It's not a good place. Um, let's go. Well, let's go to the where it says path through the rocks. Let's go there. We'll put our repair trailer there, and then I'll. That'll be like our staging spot. All right. Look at Mr. Mike and just soar through. Well, I'm using like <clears throat> three gallons a minute just to just to drive normally. <laughs> yeah. Hey, they're Russian trucks, man. That's but they carry like yeah. 200 gallons, don't they? Some. See, I do it in liters. I don't know what the the gallons are. Tay always has his in gallons, too. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I've been drinking too much. It's Russia, after all. I stalled. Yeah, if there was, if you could only do, have one truck to do the entire game with, that was not a mod truck, <coughs> feared. <laughs> right. Uh, it, it would be the F750. Um, I think for me it would be the. Um, it, it, it's a Russian truck, but it gets really good fuel economy. Well, I'm this, to remember. this gets. I consider this a Russian truck because it's found in Russia, but. I know it's American, but uh, it's got... Here's the reason why I like it. One, it's small enough that it can do all the scout missions. It's heavy enough that it can pull a truck trailer. It can carry a crane. It's able to supply itself for a long time to do, like, full-on scout missions. Yeah, so, but you can't use the magnetic thing with it. You can't use oh, the true. sound device with it. So you can't do that. do the game with that truck. What do you need those for? For like the there's missions that need them. Yeah, there's missions that need them. All right, so I'm gonna bring I'm gonna drag this guy down. Okay. I'm gonna just get stuck on this tree first though. How's that? Does that look good? But I can see your point, yeah, with that truck. But I still think it would be really difficult to get some of those metal beams and things down. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Whereas I would look at it more on, oh I'd want a gosh. truck similar to this with really good fuel economy. What the frick? Okay, I'm going to go up forward. And that's as far as I go. Huh. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to go any farther. I'll just wait down here for you. Can't see where I'm going. There we go. I would love one of these trucks as a rock crawler. You kidding me? Oh, it'd be awesome because it's too. got it's got that long frame and everything. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't you wouldn't tip over very often, and it, it would definitely be a good a good plus with the double wheels in the back. That would be so cool. 
I still am sad that that Russian RC crawler that I got didn't work out. I can't believe it was that bad. It was terrible. I, I, I would try. I don't want to spend another 80 bucks though. But I would try getting the one that had, was already built. Because it can't be that bad. It just had to be something with the kit that I got. But it was disappointing because it looks so cool. It's such a good looking truck. Now, there's some new ones that have come out, uh, but they're not Russian. There's a new Chevy Blazer that came out that's pretty cheap. Oh, it's a freaking fleet. Oh, or a Lodestar. Is it a Lodestar? Okay, yeah. that's fine. Hey, at least it'll be easy to pull down. Yeah, I'm going to just drag it down. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to bother repairing it up here. I'm going to just bring it down and fix it. Unless I can't move it. Maybe I should try to work the, sus the suspension and wheels. Let's see. Repair. Small roof rack. Two tires. Utility mount. There we go. It's got wheels now. Those are repaired. And I'm going to do suspension. Why is my utility mount empty? What? Custom pickup bed. We're going to do suspension. Gas tank. Gearbox. Oh, I was able to repair it all the way up here. Oh, were you? Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to put some fuel in it. Let's see. I'm going to refuel myself first just for safety. Wait. Oh, I, that was the Lodestar. <laughs> okay. I'm going to refuel the Lodestar just for safety. Nope. Utility mount, small refract, custom pickup bed. Utility mount. Is that that thing? Okay, that's that thing. I love the way that the um the way you love me the, i love the way you love me wait <laughs> okay we're all fueled up so it doesn't really matter i love the way the tires and stuff disappear when you use them oh crap's sake i keep bashing into the rock here and smashing up my engine why would you attach from the middle of the truck yuts okay um Let's go ahead and uh, I want to do this. I can't turn the engine on on that truck. It's all fueled up and everything. Oh, it still needs a little bit of repair and a little bit of fuel. Oh, so it's burning fuel. Okay. That's okay. We'll fix it up when we get down. But. I'll just drag that giant boulder down with us. That'll be good. Because I needed that. I needed that extra weight on the back of my truck. Wow, this is crazy. This little area. Oh, I bounced. Oh. truck is made of paper mache. It's made of paper mache. So you're going to be delivering a quality product back to the guy, right? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's great shape. Everything's perfect. There's a lot more wrong with this truck than you think, sir. <laughs> oh, man. All right, where did you go? Are you I'm down here. I got the bed all out. How did I? Ready oh, go. I went the wrong way. <laughs> uh, I'll be there. Um, oh, okay. I'll I just come. It. I'll come around the other way. It's fine. I I got myself in the place. I can meet you if you want. It's not no, because I need to get the repair trailer too. We need to finish repairing it. Right. I'm. I'm gonna try to get it. Oh, okay. See if I can. I'll be working my way towards it. you. Be working my way back to you. Micah. 
<laughs> Let's see if I can grab I'll it. Find you in the end. I might not be able to grab it. We'll see. Ooh, grab it. Twist it. Pop it. Yank it. Boy, this thing does not turn very oh, well. Oh, God. And another one bites. Another one bites. Another one bites. Another one bites. Oh, I did turn it on. Okay, there we go. Just stay there. I'm almost to you already. <laughs> I'm making my way to you, Mr. Micah. To the woods. <laughs> ah, sorry. Oh. Wait, where'd you go now? Wait, no, stop. <laughs> no, you're on my other side. Okay. So I'm going to pull this over here. And then I'll see if, if you can get a good angle on it to pick it up. And I'll repair it while you're working on that. Oh, but hang on. Let me, let me winch to it. Attach winch. Winch! No. No, frick's sake. Let me ref uh, go ahead and do what you're going to do. I'll try to refuel it while you're doing that because I'm so good at this. Uh, refuel, International Lodestar. Oh, that's cool. Repair. All right, let's just put this down a bit. I lined up good. I think I am. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's right. I gotta do this. Chuck is ready for tow. Ah! Oh. <laughs> if I if I don't get my hand on the bumper right, it puts it in reverse and then shuts it off. Let's see. Shut the door. I'm gonna repair myself while I'm here. Do you need any repair? Or are you good? I'm. I'm good. Okay, there we go. Stop shaking. Why is he driving away? I don't know. You turn his that? turn his engine off. He's driving away. Yeah, I turn the engine off. How do I do that? Uh, X. I don't have that option. His engine should be off because I turned it off. Tell you what, uh, jump in a different truck and let me try it. Maybe it's because it's your multi it's multiplayer. Could be a glitch. Let me know when you've jumped. Jumped. Okay, now you can jump in the forward. Yeah, it could be just, it was just probably a multiplayer glitch. Unfortunately, this didn't come up here very straight, but. trucks. Now, do you want to take back over, or you want to drive that for a little bit? It's up to you. Would you mind chucking me some fuel? I'm gonna, that's what I'm bringing the, the thing over for. Sweet. We're going so you can to grab fuel. Left button. Raise. All right, we're gonna we're gonna rock 
down to Electric Avenue. Oh, yeah, this only holds 200 liters. It's not a very big truck for fuel, huh? No. We're going to rock down to Electric Avenue. Man, we did this mission in 20 minutes. We are the men. <laughs> because we're men. Do, 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 do. I see men. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Are you stuck? Why did you say that? Uh, I don't know. Snow in the trailer. Chuck me a line. Hook onto my arse. I'll get, I'll save you, Mr. Micah. Yeah, this truck's pretty dang good. Oh, yeah. But it's not, when the, in deep water, because it doesn't have the big bubbly tires, it does get bogged down. That's why we call it working together. That'd be cool if they had a pirate game. <laughs> they do. It's called naval action. Uh, all right. Or the other one. What's that stupid one with the funky little ships? Um, uh, funky little ships. Yeah, the one that everybody plays. Uh, oh, what is the name of that game? I can't remember. Game of Thieves? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Like, that's a pretty good one. Yeah. Uh, all right, so we have, let's see if there's any other um, rescue missions while we're out with the rescue trucks. I don't see anything else aside from the sunk giant. Yeah, that's right behind us. Do we have that mission already? Find and deliver the truck to Dave's house. We don't have to repair it. So, if you want to leave... Now, we should... What do you think? Should we bring that big trailer with us? Which one? The one that you're dragging? Oh, yeah. You know what I we mean, could do? We could try to stack it on top of this truck. The trailer? Yeah. It'll just be on the back, so when we need it, we can pull it down. Because uh, it's a quite a trip. It's not an easy trip to get over there. Yeah, that's fine. All right, let's do that. Let me... Uh... Let me uh, straighten the trailer out. Let's see. Let, let's turn around. Well, just stay there, and I'll turn around, because I was thinking, of, like, I'll hook it onto my butt. But before you put it up on top of my truck, fill yourself. Yeah, but don't you want the, uh, don't you want the, uh, the, the, the no. tongue? No, I want the tongue okay. facing out. But what I want you to do is go ahead and fill up all your fuel slots on your truck. Yeah, I did. Oh, okay, because I'm not. Oh, yeah, because you didn't. there's no repairs. That's right. This won't be steering at all. Let's I'm gonna try to get. What do you think? Do you think it'll fit looking at it or no? Yeah, that's that the part of the trailer that sticks straight up towards the sky. You can make it level. You can just leave it. Why on earth? Stick is, out the back. Is that for real? Like, do they really have trucks that have a ridiculous rear end like this? I I would assume. I guess. But you need to pull forward out yeah. more. Yeah. Yeah. You're way too close. It looks like it looks like that there back part shortens though. Maybe it's extended. Yeah, it is extended. Oh, okay. I was gonna say it looks even bigger than normal. Well, yeah, stupid. Okay, let's see. Uh, I want to lower. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know it could do that. Yeah, I I've only used this once, so shame on me. So I'm like, man, that's a pretty steep angle to like. Okay, that's as long as it goes. Put it down in the mud. And I'm going to 
winch. Now the winch can move left and right on the back of the truck. Yes, that one I knew, but okay. I, didn't, I didn't know about the that whole lengthening thing. Uh, I guess, so if we're gonna, the question is, how do I move the winch? Can't remember. Come here, winch. If the trailer gets too far to the rut, to the to the passenger side, I can push it back on by parking right near it. Yeah. This to it won't let me move the winch. It's okay. Just keep pulling out. I'll keep it from going off this way. Pull the winch. Arg. Plus, this will give my truck some weight, which will help it like not be all. It might be bad weight though, because it's way up high. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hold on, hold on. Don't do anything. I'll push it. This is where we need a forklift, which we do have, by the way. You know, it might actually work better. We'll try pushing it and see what happens. Oh, oh, oh. oh God. Why did I do that? Um, okay. Oh, there look at go. that. That's so cool. Now you can bring the back gate up until yep. um, you want. And just slow, and then uh, sure. bring it back in. There you go. Let's go. Cool. So does this tree, okay, so does this start out with the whole thing stretched all the way out when you first get it? Because that seems no. much lower than I normally no. see it. No, that, that's that's where it is. I just extended it to get the the other truck on it. Okay, so we so need to go... Which way are we going? Through the water? Um, or? Yeah, I mean... Uh, yeah. Or down the tracks. Well, the tracks... I don't think I can do the tracks. It'll tip me over. Um, okay. I think we need to go up into the, the hill roads here. Um, okay. So we're going to have to go left and then left again and then right and then up and over. It'll be interesting. And the good news is that the sun is going down. Arg. Why am I talking like a pirate? Because we're floating in this ocean of... I don't know, it's wondering at myself. Yeah. Like, he must be in the mood to be a pirate. Yeah, no, it's because of all the water. Mr. Micah. Mr. Smee. That actually went up there pretty dang straight. That was a good job, Mr. Micah. It's a little teeny bit to the right, but we'll survive. Ah, I will survive. Oh, it was your idea to put it on backwards. I. For some reason, I just stopped moving forward altogether. Like I hit something solid. Okay, there we go. Did you t <laughs> did you tie a winch to me? <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, it's gonna be like what the? I just stopped moving for no reason, like no motion whatsoever. No, I was already uh, up to you. Do you need to grab on again? I'm moving slowly. Can you reach my arse? Yeah, there's a branch here. Okay, maybe that's, that's what stopped me moving then, yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy. I should have maybe planned this a little better. Look at that. This truck. That was freaking incredible. <laughs> Loaded with a giant fuel trailer Yeah, but you're back. going the wrong way, aren't you? No, you'll see. Okay. We have to get on these tracks that go across. That big road just dead ends in the village, so we need to take the mountain road. Okay. And we might need to take the secondary mountain road because I think the primary mountain road is actually closed with a roadblock. So we go up here and then turn right. You'll see. I'm going to make a U-turn. I'm going up this mountain to get the drowned stupid truck. Yeah, this is the <laughs> the road we need to take. If you could call it a road. Oh, Lord. Well, we wanted a challenge, didn't we? So let's do this in the dark. 
loaded with a huge trailer. And we can call this Death Road to Canada. Death yeah, Road to Canada. Game. The good news is I'm able to fill stuff up while we're driving, so that's good. We can keep the ace off filled. You know what you could do on this truck? You could put like a little scout trailer on it as a fuel source. Are you sure this is a good idea? Um, it's an idea. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to say that I think this is not going to end well. <laughs> well... Just give me Let's a minute to get around this gonna, corner. It's going to be spectacular either way. <laughs> either way. <laughs> oh, lordy. Okay. Lock the... There we go. There we go. And I, for one, get to keep my headlights on this the whole time. <laughs> Aziz, light. Oh, God. That's right. Oh, no. I'm going to... Make sure I get a good camera view for this. Hey, hey, hey. My, oh, okay. Look, <laughs> that was a little disappointing, but oh well. <laughs> hey, you wanted spectacular. That was spectacular. You got to admit. Oh, Micah, don't fall. I'm the one that should go over, but yet you were about to go over. Lighting a lot, but oh well, it's okay. I think it's because I'm light. Yeah. Come on, wheels, pull. The good news is the road's angling the way that we need it to now. We have proper camber for safety. Whoa! Shift. That worked out pretty well, don't you think? Uh, that's not the part I'm waiting for. I'm, not, I'm hoping that's the only part that's going to be like that. There should be a bridge, a narrow bridge up here somewhere. A very narrow a rock bridge. Yeah, there's more rocks I think here. So. Hey, man, I went to the Azov School of Hard Knocks. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. Let's scrape the... Actually, we're pretty good. We're doing pretty good. Uh, the hard part is these weight shifts. That's where the danger is. Yeah, if you weight shift to the right, you're done. Oh, rock. Rock and roll! Uh -huh. Nice and slow. The bouncy sections are not helping. And then we get this nice spot here. This isn't too bad. There's a big rock here, though, but it'll be okay. I spent a night on Death Road. On Death Ridge. Wait, we're not pirates anymore because we're out of the water. I spent a night on Death Ridge. It's running too bad. No, I'm I'm pretty happy. There is a bridge. It's a little near. Ah. Yeah, this is the part I've been waiting for. Oh. I'm not, I might not even make it to the bridge. There we go. Okay. All right. All right. I gotta get the get the get the lighting in the right direction. Just watch as Arthur falls into the chasm of death. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. You said yes. Yes. Come on, don't let me down. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I, it depends on what kind of letting down you're hoping for. Right. Oh. What was it that would let you down? The making it across or the not making it across? You already let me down. So. 
I've kept myself up, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I might be down for you, but I'm up for me. for setting me straight, Laura. Who knew that this was going to be a 45-minute journey across the the deep plateaus of Canada? Oh, should we have went down right here? Should we? Mm, no. No, no. No. Nope. We're going to go all the way till this goes down. Comes out by the wood framing there, past support the locals. And then across metal framing into where the sunk giant is located. I'll tell you what, I am enjoying the challenge of this mission. I'm not looking forward to when we have these missions where we need to bring 75,000 pieces of equipment to a location. Yeah. The city, like the builder missions, but this, this is fun. Um, well, it is a lot nicer when you got other people with you. Yeah, it definitely it helps. Which road? We need to go to the right. Um, yeah, no, we keep going. Oh, boy. Oh, gosh. I kind of remember this part of the road. It's a road, but it's also a hill. It's also kind of a mountain. You can do this, Azov. You can do this. Look at that truck. It just does it. What do you think about that awesome climb? Fully loaded with a... 12,000 liter gas tank. If it was a different truck, I would say, wow. But. <laughs> but this is why you need these trucks for Russia. I, can you imagine doing that in, like, I don't know, the freight, like the Fleet Star? I'm going to try it. Are you going to try to do this all American? Yeah. Oh, good luck. Good luck. I did it. Amer the Twin Steer is primarily what I ended up using. I'd probably end up using the Dairy Longhorn, not no, the new one, the old one. It gets stuck. They both get stuck. Do they? Yeah, they they sink into the mud, and you just never are able to move. That's I. I started off with that truck. I used it for like two episodes, and I quit. The, I, the old Dairy Longhorn. Yep, both of them. Okay. Ne neither of them work. The ones, the trucks that work, uh, the Caterpillar 745, the big one, like the dinosaur-looking one, uh, the twin steer with its mud tires, like fully upgraded. So you're gonna have to go to Russia and get all the upgrades for it, but once you get the upgrades for it, it's great. The Ankh works well, but it runs out of fuel too quick. Yeah. Um, and the Freightliner 114. Those are the trucks that work for me to get through the first map. But if I had the Russian trucks, it would have been much, much easier. Because they get the bigger tire, the bigger mud tires, and that's what you need. That first map is just all mud. 100% deep mud. So you just spend your time, and you have to do a lot of back and forth, so the tracks get worse and worse every time you go. Shoes and socks. Where on earth are we supposed to get down? Hold on a second. Oh, the chickens are making a noise. Sorry. I heard, like, this crash noise, and it was the chickens flopping around in there. They're goofing around. Goofy chickens. All right, let's see. So where? Yeah, so we need to go to the left here. Sun's finally starting to come up. Maybe, or maybe that's the moonrise that I'm seeing. Well, that was certainly an epic journey. Mm -hmm. I was not expecting it to be that crazy, but that was fun and cool. I was expecting something else to happen. Oh, like me to fall over? 
you know, I was expecting to fall off that little bridge with a little <laughs> tanker on you. I'm thinking, oh, this is going to be fun to watch. <laughs> disappointed again yeah it <laughs> honestly probably would have been easier to just drag the trailer behind me but this was fun mm-hmm. so I think we could stage this trailer here we'll fill up and then go get the truck and deliver it and then we can come back here and we can drag the trailer back home it's getting to the point where it needs to be refilled I guess I was wrong about the sun coming up. Jeez, it looked like it was going to come up and then nothing. All right, so I'm going to, let's see, refuel. If you, you put the uh, trailer thing down, I can just hitch up to it and pull it Yeah, off. that's what I'm going to do. Uh, let's see, functions, control evacuator. Oh, wait, uh, unpack trucks and trailers. Nope. Uh, there we go. Okay, lower. And extend. It's so dark I can't... Oh, there we go. Okay, she's down. Did you release it? Yeah. I think you winched to the back of my truck. You're going to have to probably manually pick points. Oh no, there you go. That'll work. <laughs> Goodbye. I was going to say, you winched it back up again. No. No, I haven't touched anything. I'm just sad. Hmm. Can you pull up? Ta da! Boing. Hold on. Close that. Pull this up. Uh, what happened? Hey, was, what happened? It's like I'm either too far away or too close. Too far away or too close. <laughs> Ugh. There we go. Ooh, that's not rough. Let's see where we want to put this thing so it's out of the way. Just right there is fine because we're, we're going to take it back with us, so it's good for now. Oh, and there's a big fuel trailer over here, too, though it's a mission one. I'm going to get started on the drag. Where did you go? Oh, I'm heading back towards the twin steer. I know I'm going to get a call any minute from Wifey Poo telling me it's time to come get her, so... <laughs> We're in hurry up, hurry up offense mode. Okay. Oh. Love lifted me. Love lifted me. Grab that dang twin star. Twin stia. I think I can reach it now. Let's see. Yep. There we go. Gotta get my headlights up there. Oh, the stupid truck's out of water. I mean, out of fuel. It's all right, though. I'm not going to fuel the thing up. We can pull it out. Famous last. Okay, maybe not. If you put the front tires on the back of your truck and then locked it and then drove away, I wonder if it would drag or something. Ah, uh, that's an idea. I can't from here, though. No, it's meant when you go to take it to where it needs to go. It's got me stuck. There's plenty of trees. Yeah, that's what I'm about to do. I might, once I get up here, if you could throw maybe like a quarter tank of fuel in it. Is it damaged? No. But it won't start because it's out of fuel. Oh, okay. I don't think it's damaged. 
check status, like do a repair status and see if it says that the tank's damaged. While you're doing that, I'm going to try to figure out our route because this will take us back to the warehouse. Yeah, I think that probably is the best way to go. Follow the tracks or follow this. There's a track there. So we go out here, go through the warehouse, huh. and then come out on this side. Okay. All I got is four tires, Arthur. I can't repair nothing. Oh, is he, is he broken? No, no. Uh, I don't got no repair points. Well, no, I just wanted you to check the status and see if his fuel tank's broken. Oh, I can't yet. I, it's kind of too far away. Let me try to get a little over this. Okay, just like, I, don't want, I don't want you to throw fuel in him if he's leaking, but if he's not leaking, then we can throw some fuel in there and make this a little bit easier. He is damaged a little bit. But is it? But like, it's what? nothing red. Okay, cool. Yeah, go ahead and put fuel in there. Right, he's got fuel. My truck is like literally cemented into the ground. It's almost like we're stuck on logs or something. It's really weird. Like I can't. Can you wench to me now from here? I'll pull you a different direction. Yeah, pull me pull me out if you can. And then I'll pull him a little bit. Once we get out of this water, we'll be fine. It's just like this this truck doesn't have those great mud tires, you know? They're just all terrains with chains. Alright, so here we go. I'm gonna try to pull him. He's not even trying. Come on. Remember, he might be stock. All these guys have those rear wheels in the back, and they could be just all trains. I'm not getting the pull I need to get him out. He's like suctioned into the mud. Come on. Oh, just grab his truck already. <laughs> We're moving. Once he gets his butt up out of the swamp. Yeah, I think you're right though. You're probably right. It's not an all-wheel drive model. So his back wheels are probably turning and the front wheels are just sitting. It ain't there, yeah. It looks like he's kind of stuck on something. Yeah. That's how I'm feeling too. I'm not. There, oh, it looks like he's moving. There he goes. There he goes. Dang. Well, little. It's gonna be little steps here. Yeah, pull me up a little bit. That's probably good. Yeah. Get him right to the edge there. Yeah, just like that. Just like that. There he comes. Yep. We'll get there. You know how it is. Slow progress followed by a couple inches of gain followed by more slow progress. Well. Worthless truck. Jeez. But I'll tell you what, that truck gets really good with the upgrades, but without the upgrades, it's not very good.
No. I didn't tell you to detach. Oh my gosh. This thing! I pulled a thing. I pulled the thing out of the swamp. I think probably the Kolob would have been a better pick for this mission, but since we were here. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Now I'm starting to get some traction. Getting on these rocks here helped. And we've reached the fastest motion that we've gotten so far at one mile an hour. That's as fast as it goes. I'm going to have to kind of come over where you are because that, that's the road's too bad on the right. Now, it probably is going to get hung. Oh, it's good. No, it came over. All right. Now, can you please... I'm trying to give you light. Aziz, light. It's such a good movie. <laughs> it's, once again, it's like Your Highness. It's got, like, that element of... Um, it's silly and yet it's serious. Like it just, it's, it's so. They didn't take You're it too seriously, rock. but they also, yeah, I know. I'm just getting him up here further, so I want to okay. keep yanking him. I'm actually surprised at how much trouble this truck is having pulling that. Yeah, uh, no, it's not like the suspension's red, and he's out of tires and everything. Yeah. Did you? Oh, you didn't fill your fuel. Oh, you used the fuel tanks on your truck to get this full. I was like, your fuel tanks yeah. are all empty. I'm showing me your fuel tank levels. I'm like, what the heck? Yeah. Wait a minute. Why am I out of fuel? How did I just run out of fuel? I had a. I went to fill you up, and all of a sudden it went. It's gone. All uh, the fuel's gone. You're going to have to go get more from the uh, trailer. There you go. Oh, okay. That was weird. Did it pull it into your truck, maybe? See, there it again. See? It just emptied you again. That is odd. Look, the fuel just disappeared. Hold on. Weird. So refueling empties. Well, it can if there's a bug. Which, like everything in this game, the multiplayer is totally freaking bugged. Yeah, but why the fuel? Why the fuel? <laughs> he said, why the fuel? Arr, pardon me. I don't know, but it's annoying. Chug, 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 chug. Well, the sun's finally coming up. Holy smokes. Holy. I just wrecked my transmission. Wait, or how? My, I just wrecked the suspension just bumping into a, a piece of metal. Oh, it's all gone. Look at, look at. I'm in a low rider now. Oh, God. You have to repair yourself from the trailer, too. The good news is yeah, you can attach right. to it. So you just pull the fuel out of me, what you need. Okay. If you can. If you can't, then. Uh, I can't. You can't just take it out of my fuel tank? No, that's weird. Okay. Let me hop into a different truck for a sec, and I'll do it. Change truck. Can't. Okay. And let's oh, see. I just pulled all the fuel out of you by put, trying to put fuel in you, and it disappears. It's weird. There we go. All right, go back and get fixed. I'm not a dog. <laughs> Fetch Rover. <laughs> he said I'm not a dog. I'm not your plaything. 
thing rides like a rock now. I'm right on the, right on the um, <laughs> axles. <laughs> All right, let's see. So we got everything set up. I think that's it. We're ready, We're ready to go. Yeah, you gotta watch them pieces of metal. They can really tear your truck apart, you know. So I think the way we're gonna go is through here and then out to the right. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. His truck went beep, beep, beep. Hello, Micah. Hello. Oops, I damaged his fuel tank. So we're taking it to Dave's house. I wonder if this is Dave who owns Wendy's. Did he escape Columbus and now he lives in Canada? Actually, I think he's passed away probably by now. The guy's got to be like 500 years old. Oh, Dave? Old. Yeah, he did die. Let me guess. Heart attack. Yep. <laughs> With a bacon, uh, junior bacon in his hand. That's right. That's yep. how I'm going to go. <laughs> he died eating steak, but he had a smile on his face when he went. It's like our, our old pastor used to say, he's like, hey, man, if God didn't want us to eat cows, he wouldn't have made them out of steak. <laughs> I love meat. Meat. I meant to say, my wife just texted and said, come and get me. And I meant to type, it's, I meant to type K-Babe, and I, I sent it one word, K-Babe. K Babe. K Babe with a V. Hopefully, I'll be able to turn this around for a stream by 8 o'clock or 8 30. Somehow, I have to make dinner, pick my wife up, get dog food, fish food. Sub Subway it is. <laughs> I love Subway. Moni doesn't like Subway. Really? She doesn't like Subway or Arby's. <gasps> oh. I know, I know. It's okay though. I got a gift certificate to Arby's, and I've spent it all on myself. I'm like, did you mind I if I go to Arby's? Arby's, Arby's uh, little slider with the jalapenos on it. Oh yeah. And I like then pretty I put much the horsey sauce on it. No. <laughs> I don't like do extra extra hot. I don't do horsey crap. <laughs> no, I don't do the horsey sauce. That's Sacrilegious. Are you getting... St oh, you're winching? Yeah. Yeah, that trailer will make it hard for that scout to get through here. Hold on a second. Or you can just keep going. Roger that. <laughs> Sorry about your garbage cans, you wee people, you. Oh, wait. Did you really do it? The story I will be telling my grandchildren. Here, you will be... Oh, here, this is the story I'll be telling my grandchildren. I can read. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Micah did an excellent support job tonight. We got the truck delivered, two trucks delivered in one night. And some damage done to my trucks, but that's okay. 
That's what we live for. Ladies and gentlemen, have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up always help. Want to say good night, Mr. Micah? Good night, everybody. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks, guys. See you next time.